Hey, guys, guys, let me ask you something. Between us, between us on the, on the down low, if I had information, if I was given like a secret, I was told something in code that I was asked to not share, but I don't know what to do with it. Let me give you an example. I had this guy at a bar. This is a true story. I had a guy at a bar when I was 21 years old, and I thought he was picking on me. But I wasn't positive. So I had to ask another guy. So there was this other guy there named Jake Lear. And I said, hey, Jake, I'm in a bit of a situation. See that guy over there with the hat on? I think, I think he just came up and bullied me, but I'm not sure. Here's what he did. Do I need to whip his ass? I told Jake what the guy in the cowboy hat did. You know what Jake said? He didn't know either. Jake said, man, I don't know. That's a tough one. Jake said, I got to bring somebody else in on it. I said, okay, get back to me if I got to whip this guy or not. So I look up about a minute later and Jake brought the actual guy in. I look up and Jake is now talking to the guy in the hat pointing at me. Hey, you know, you said this to my buddy as you walk by. He just wondered if he needs to whip your ass or not. And the guy's, no, my goodness, I didn't mean to offend him at all. Let me get him a drink. Right? It was a misunderstanding. Sometimes you have a misunderstanding. There's nothing wrong with that. And I've, I've been brought into this, okay? So there is somebody very powerful that resides in the Middle East that believes Islam and Charles should fight, okay? And they requested that fight. Now, Charles got a message to me. And he didn't do it by calling me or texting me, but he went on something that he knew that I would see. Something. He went on something called Twitter. And he said, I don't want to fight Islam Makhlchev. And then he did something else, which was to get to me. It was a direct message to me. It's kind of like Morris code. You got it right. You got to know what a guy's saying, but you got to also pay attention to what the, the body language of some of the cues are. He did a media report where he spoke in Portuguese and it was done for South America, but it got to me and it got translated where he said, I don't want to fight Islam Makhlchev. Okay. Then he got booked and put opposite on a date called October 22nd of 2023 in a main event against Islam Makhlchev. And he came out one more time and he said, I'm going to fight Islam, but I'm not going to fight him on that date. And then the show got advertised and promised anyway, and Charles, being a man of his word, put a paper cut over his eye, went to the world and said, look at my paper cut, and didn't do the fight, just like he said he would do. Okay, great. Then I got Islam. I got Islam coming to me. And Islam came to me, he was actually speaking Russian to an, an Eastern European media outlet, and I got translated and sent to me, but he said, I'm not interested in rematches for one. I'm not interested in Charles Oliveira period, for two, and moreover, since I just gave two matches to a 45-pounder who came up with me everything to risk, him nothing to risk, him everything to gain, and me nothing to gain, and I did it twice, I would like that same advantage shown to me, and I'd like to be able to go up to 170, and I would like to be able to fight Leon Edwards. Now, Leon Edwards has been asked to do two things since he's been champion. One was to fight Colby, of which he refused to do publicly, and the other was to fight Leon, I apologize, was to fight Blahal Muhammad, which he refused to do, at least publicly. So nobody's really looking to try to help Leon. Like, when you got a guy with an attitude like that, you might as well get the belt off him. And the surest thing to get a belt off him is to put him against a guy that nobody else can beat named Islam. So it appears that there's some kind of a legs to that. But then you got somebody else saying, we're going to make Charles and we're going to make Islam. We're going to make that happen next. Okay. So I'm just wondering what I should do. Because Charles has let me know multiple times he doesn't want to fight Islam. And Islam has let me know through a media source that aired on something called RT, which stands for Russian television. And it's, but it's kind of small, right? Like they only have a billion point two people that hear it, which is why I know it was a code to me. And they want me to get involved somehow. They want me to get the message out that they don't want to fight each other. Then DraftKings came in over the top and it was a three to one spread the first time of which was uncompetitive and seven minutes later was done. Now it's a four to one spread. That's DraftKings saying, we don't want to see the fight. And nobody questions who would win the fight. So I had three different people coming to me and telling me this. And I'm just wondering, can I tell it to you? Like, I kind of felt like it was private. I kind of felt like it was, it was a secret. And, and apparently it was. Like, my instincts were right. Because when Charles put it out on Twitter, nobody saw it except for me.
And when Islam said, I don't want to do this, and I already helped out this 45 pounder, and I'd like to go up to 170, I'm a big guy, and I'm going to be a 70 pounder anyway. Apparently, I'm the only one that heard it. So apparently, I'm the only one that knows that these two guys don't want to fight each other. Now, DraftKings made it very clear to say we can't get any action on this because everybody knows which way it's going to go. We're not going to do a lot of business that night. Apparently, I'm the only one that knows that as well. So what should I do with that information? Should I share that information or should I keep it quiet? And much like I needed Jake to go up and ask the cowboy what he meant. What do you guys think I should do? And what do you think it means when Charles and Islam both say, I don't want to fight him? What do you think it means?